Hi, in this video we'll talk about lexicographic preferences. Again, consider a two-good economy X and Y, and there is a consumer who has lexicographic preferences. Such preferences are the result of applying some sort of a procedure that consists of sequence of criterion to determine the ranking of this consumer over any two bundles. As an example, let us consider an individual who lexicographically prefers X over Y. In this case, while comparing the two bundles X prime Y prime and X double prime Y double prime, the consumer employs the following sequence of criterions. The first criterion will be compare the two bundles with respect to the amount of commodity X that they offer and the consumer will prefer the bundle that offers him higher amount of X. If it turns out that both the bundles offer him same amount of X, then the consumer moves to criterion 2 and prefer the bundle that offers him higher amount of Y. Notice that if the two bundles are different then the individual who has lexicographic preferences like the one mentioned in the example will always rank these two bundles differently. In other words, indifferent sets are singleton. As a consequence, if the commodity spaces are 2 plus, such preferences does not admit a utility representation. We are not going to prove this here, but it is a useful fact to know. Let us now see lexicographic preferences of X over Y in a bit more detail. So we say an individual lexicographically prefers X over Y if he employs the following sequence of criterion. Criterion 1 is he is going to compare X prime Y prime X double prime Y double prime first with respect to X. If X prime is greater than X double prime then he strictly prefers X prime Y prime to X double prime Y double prime. If however X prime is strictly less than X double prime then he is going to prefer the bundle X double prime Y double prime over x prime y prime. Notice that this preference is irrespective of the amount of y that the two bundles offer. If x prime happens to be equal to x double prime then he employs criterion 2 to decide which bundle he prefers more. Criterion 2 is comparing the amount of y that the two bundles offer. If y prime is greater than y double prime then he has strict preference of x prime y prime over x double prime y double prime. And if y prime is strictly less than y double prime, then he has a strict preference of x double prime y double prime over x prime y prime. And if y prime is equal to y double prime, then we know that the two bundles are the same. We would like to solve for the demand function when the consumer has lexicographic preference of x over y. So let us try and find the best affordable bundle. Let us first plot the budget line. This is how it's going to look. Let us now inspect an arbitrary point inside the budget line and let us see if that can be an optimal choice. So consider a point such as alpha. Let us first see what are the points that are strictly preferred to alpha in the entire commodity space here. So if you see all the bundles right up on this line are the ones that offers him same amount of X but higher amount of Y. So based on criterion 2, we are going to say that bundles lying above alpha are strictly preferred to alpha. Bundles lying to the right of alpha are also strictly preferred to alpha because of criterion 1. So these are the set of points that are strictly preferred to alpha. These are the set of points that are strictly preferred to alpha and are also affordable. So that means that moving in this direction can certainly improve the satisfaction level of the individual so alpha cannot be the best affordable bundle for this particular consumer. Now let us consider a point on the budget line such as beta. These are the set of bundles in the shaded region that are affordable and are also better than beta for this consumer. So moving in this direction will certainly improve the satisfaction level of this consumer. This kind of reasoning is going to hold good for any point on the budget line except the point where the consumer is spending all his money on X. So gamma is the best affordable bundle. 
So the demand for this consumer is irrespective of the prices and the income always xt equals m by px and yd equals 0. That means the consumer will always spend all his money on x in equilibrium. Thank you.